Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo and today we're going to talk about how you're able to use your Samsung Pass or Samsung Wallet to store your two-factor authentication, especially when it comes down to Twitter. So lately Twitter is kind of going through a dumpster fire right now, basically making it to where the only people that can use the text message two-factor authentication method are those who pay for Twitter, so it's stating only Twitter Blue subscribers can use this method. Now this method is convenient, it's very easy to do, it's very fast, but it's not the most secure, it's not the best. So if you do actually care about your security and not getting hacked, things like that, you'd be able to use a better method, you know, such as another authentication app or security key method. So I'm gonna show you how you can get all of this done on your Samsung phone uh, in a better method, a more secure way. So all you'd have to do is once you go inside of Twitter, uh, you just wanna click on your little profile image and then you, as you scroll down, you're gonna notice where it says settings and support. This is where you go inside of settings and privacy. Now, this is also where you click on security and account access, and then you wanna to go to security. So basically, this is where if you have your two-factor authentication turned on, you tap right there. More than likely, yours might says, you know, say text message. They want you to take it off if you're not a Twitter Blue user, and I'm not gonna pay to use Twitter. It's already been a free application. So there's really no need for me to do that. Um, but right here, I'm gonna use this option here that is called authentication app. Now, once you turn this one on, uh, you just have to log into your Twitter account just to make sure that it is you. So once you put in your password, you can hit on confirm. So the password is typed in, we're gonna hit on confirm. And so now we're just gonna get started. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you how you can do this just right here, very simple. What I'm gonna do is instead of linking an app, because if you select a link app, it's gonna show you a couple apps that you may have downloaded. So the Google Authenticator app or Authy. Uh, but what I would wanna do is using Samsung Wallet or AKA Samsung Pass. So I'm gonna select this option here that's called link on other device. And then I'm gonna go right here where it says uh, that I don't wanna scan it, I'd rather just put this code in. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna press and hold and I'm gonna hit on copy. Now don't worry, all the stuff that I'm gonna show you here with this QR code, with this code, with another code coming up here in the near future. Um, once this video is done, I'm gonna actually delete all of this and reset up my authentication so everything changes. So don't worry, I'm not putting myself at risk here. So all you have to do is now that you have copied it, you just go inside of your Samsung wallet. Um, or if you don't use Samsung wallet, you can use Samsung Pass because that's still what we're using. It just happens to be that with Samsung Wallet, Samsung Pass is built within. So I'm gonna go down here to Menu. I'm gonna scroll down where it says Samsung Pass. I'm gonna go to, to, to the uh, Sign In Info. And then you just wanna authenticate with your fingerprint. Now this screen here is more than likely gonna be blurred out because this is some of my, my Sign In Info, basically just my username. So I blurred all this out. Um, I'm gonna tap on Twitter on the bottom. And in this screen here, you're gonna notice on the bottom where it says two-step verification. So this is where you just wanna simply tap on set up. And then I'm going to enter that code, literally the one that we just got done copy and pasting you know, from Twitter. So I'm just gonna place that in, hit on okay. And now here is the code. This is the little code that basically expires or changes every 30 seconds. So if we just wait a little bit longer, you're gonna notice. Um, there we go, the number changed. So literally every 30 seconds is when it will change. And so from here, this is where you'll probably want to copy this code. Now once you copy this code, um, because that's the code you wanna put in right here. So here's the confirmation code type in the code, hit on confirm. So now that we are all set, it popped up instantly. So this is just a single use backup code. You wanna keep this one in a safe place. Like I said from before, I'm not gonna write this one down or take a screenshot of it, just because I'm literally going to reset and take off all my authentication right when this video is done recording. So I'm going to reset it back up so I can get my new real code that I can write down, keep it at home, things like that. So uh, now I'm just gonna hit on done and that's it. You literally now have your Twitter associated with an authentication app. You don't have to use this option or method here, which is, you know, text message. So anytime that you have to go into, you know, your settings or security of your Twitter. So basically something comes up or maybe you have to log in, you know, for the first time. If it's going to ask you for whatever your authentication code is, all you would have to do is you open up your Samsung wallet. You're going to get inside. When you're taking a look at your Twitter, you know, with inside of your Samsung Pass, there's your code.
What I would suggest is don't do it when it's at three seconds or five seconds, just wait for it to reset to 30. So you have a full 30 seconds to now put this code in. So that is the verification code to put in anytime that you have to authenticate your application to prove that it is you. And again, all of this is stored with inside of your Samsung wallet. So anytime that you get a brand new phone, you just log into your Samsung wallet and everything will be there stored and you are good to go. And again, if anything ever happens or you switch to a different uh, manufacturer of a device, you will have that backup code if ever needed. So this way you can you know, take it off, make all your changes. So one last quick demonstration, if you need to find that verification code, remember, go inside your Samsung wallet, tap on the menu, go down to where it says Samsung Pass. This is your sign-in info. Again, this is signing in info that you have stored with these applications. And inside of your Twitter option on the bottom is where that is. So put in your fingerprint. You're going to scroll down. And once you scroll down, that is where you can see Twitter. And you can see right there, you're using two-step verification. And when you get inside of here, this is where that code is going to be for you to use. Now, if you would like to see how you can take off the two-form authentication, uh, I'm just going to show you how you can do that, which I, I needed to do it anyways, you know, right after this video. So I'm going to show you in case if you need to know as well. Um, so you just go inside of settings, you go to security and account access, you go inside of security, you go back to that two-factor authentication, simply just turn this one off. So I'm gonna hit on turn off. So now that we are not associated, the next thing you wanna do is go back inside of your Samsung wallet. You're gonna go back and take a look at your Twitter information that is stored inside of Samsung Pass. Uh, and then basically all you gotta do is click here um, and then I'm going to hit on delete. So now I'm gonna delete my two-form authentication. And so now everything has been back to normal. There's no two-form authentication, nothing stored inside of my Samsung Pass information. So now what I'd be able to do is go back, reset this back up with those same steps. And then now I got myself um, being secured again with the two-form authentication being stored and saved inside my Samsung wallet using Samsung Pass. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.